Hey guys, today I wanted to do a haul slash semi-review video for some of the products I ordered from thebodybakery.com and I got these in probably about a week or so ago but when I did I've, I've been fighting off a cold and I was sick and I just didn't want to smell anything and I couldn't smell anything so I was like there's no point in me even opening the container because there's nothing I can do with them um, but here is the little card that came with them I saw one of my subscribers who did a video on the body bakery and she, her and her boyfriend sat there and went through so many scents and it really made me want to order um, it's sass pot 54 and her and her boyfriend had done a video on the body bakery and she had an entire box of different scents of the um, whipped creams that she had had and so it was cute because she was going through them and telling how she thought they smell and then he would smell them and say how he thought and it just made me want to order them and that was the reason so thank you so much for doing that video and I know it was her first video that she put up and I really liked it and it definitely made me order so I want to go through and show you guys what I got everything came with like Halloween packaging like the tissue paper was black and it had these little um, skeletons and little bones and stuff in it and this was the packaging and I still I mean I haven't even opened it yet I wanted to save it but they had a thing on their site where you could get six of their little one ounce whipped creams for $25 and normally they're five dollars a piece for the one ounce containers and so this way it's like buy one get buy five get one free um, and they also are Twilight theme scents and I love Twilight so I had to try them out and see what they were like so I'm going to go ahead and open them up and run through them really quick. The ones that I already have open, I ordered this little six pack for $25 and then they had where if you spent $30 or it was $30 or $32, then you would get uh, a lip balm for free and one of their lip butters. And so the ones, the ones that I got outside of this set, I got frosted carrot cake and it smells to me just like carrot cake it has that spiciness to it. it you can smell the cream cheese frosting on it it smells so so good sometimes it's a little spicy because I can smell more of the cinnamon and more of the spices and I mean and I really like it to me they're not super moisturizing this is not something that I would use on my entire body just because the containers are so small and their products are to me pretty expensive so that is something I'm just going to use on my hands, my elbows, knees, areas that are really dry and that are going to need more attention. That's what I'm going to use all of these products for. Another one I got was Wedding Cake. There it is. And this one does, it smells like a white cake with like buttercream white frosting to it. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than the other one, not as noticeable. So if you don't want a really strong smell, this the Wedding Cake is a good one to go with. And they sent me a free sample actually of one of the whipped creams in red velvet cake and this is one that I would buy in a bigger size like I would buy this in probably a four or eight ounce container it smells so good it smells just like red velvet cake to me it has that cream cheese frosting to it it's pink which is really cute um, it's a pretty good size sample and I've been using it just on hands I'm trying not to use a lot of it but I really really like their red velvet cake and that is one that I would get in a full size I definitely recommend this it smells very true I also got three of their lip butters, or yeah, and I got one in one of their mystery scents. They're a little bit cheaper if you buy a mystery one, but the problem is you don't know what the scent's going to be, and the reason that's a problem is if you get it and you love it and you want it um, and you would want another one, you have no idea what it is. I'm guessing that the one I got is like a creme brulee, buttered popcorn type smell. Um, it's a clear lip butter, lip balm. Um, and it's a 0.15 ounce, which <laughs> is the same as one from like the Best Bath Store. So they're the same size product. Uh, to me, I like the Best Bath Store ones better. Um, they are creamier, they're smoother, they last longer. Uh, I like the flavors better. They taste better. I like the Best Bath Store is my preference. But I got the mystery one, which I like. The other one I got was Pinky Charm. And I did this because I got so excited when I saw it and I even sent Irene a message. I was like, do you know that they have a lip butter that's named after you? And she's like, yeah, I know. And I was like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> and it's supposed to be like a more fruity, cotton candy type smell. And to me, I'm not a huge fan. 
like it has those scents to it but it also has like this back scent of like lip balm that tastes it, it smells like a lip smackers type lip balm and I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it and the other one I got for free for ordering I think it was over 30 30 dollars was vampire's blood and that one has a nice smell I like it it's cleaner it's it's kind of florally kind of fruity and in my little six sampler pack the first one I got it's Jacob's malted milk moon there you go and let's see here. It smells like chocolate. Like it smells like chocolate milk. There, the packaging to me is weird. If you can see in there, this is the first time I've opened it, and you can see that that's already missing. Like they're full to the top, but they're missing a big section. Um, it's like they got an air pocket in them when they were filling, and that's on all of them. They're to me, they're not all full, which kind of sucks because it's five dollars for this little container, and I think they should be full to the top. But that's that one, and it smells like chocolate milk. That one's really good. Then I got Edward's Fresh Breath Kiss. And this one. Ooh, that one's nice. It's very, oh God, I like this one a lot. It's like a softer floral smell. Um, oh, it's like a nice soft floral, sunshiny winter, not winter, like a spring type smell. That one's really good. It's Bella's Berry Sweet Blood. Kind of weird name. And that one's pink. It smells more like, I don't know, kind of like candy-ish, but not like super strong. It kind of has a cherry cough medicine smell to me. Um, then I got Sookie's Telepathic Tiramisu. And that one smells good. It does smell like tiramisu. Bill's Southern Charm Cheesecake, and I love cheesecake. Huh, that one to me smells a lot like the, actually like the carrot cake. Um, it does have like a spicier smell to it, which is surprising for a cheesecake. Um, I really wish I knew why they all had this little air pocket. Um, yeah, that one smells really spicy to me. Um, not as much like a cheesecake, but it's still good because I like the carrot cake one, so... I'll definitely use that one. And the last one I thought was cute because my boyfriend's name's Eric. And this one's called Eric's Cranberry and Fang Fang Fig Fanta. I can't even say that. Eric's Cranberry Fig Fangtasia. No clue. Ooh, that one's really nice. It's a cranberry, more holiday type smell to me. Oh, I really like that one. Cranberry sweet smell. I really like that one. Overall, I'd say my experience with the Body Bakery is these aren't products that I'll really be jumping to reorder. Uh, if I do have money left over, I'll probably get some um, over like the holidays and things. Uh, I don't know if I would get them in a bigger container, but these are something that I would use for really dry areas of my skin, like my hands, my elbows, my knees, um, my feet. But it's not something I'm going to use as an all-over body moisturizer. They do absorb into my skin really easily. Uh, they don't feel thick. They don't really feel heavy. I'm not over the top impressed by what I got, but I do like them and I'm happy with my purchase. Uh, they do all have aloe in them as well. So they are pretty moisturizing, but the first few ingredients that are on here are words that I can't pronounce after the word water. Um, and so that to me I don't like. I, I like things that are more natural if it is going to be a more expensive homemade product. I would prefer that the ingredients are more natural. But I do like the smells. There are definitely favorites, like the red velvet cake is a favorite. I would say that the Eric's um, cranberry fig is a favorite. And also the Edward. Um, the Edward and even the Jacob, the one that smells like chocolate, that one smells really good. So yeah, actually re-smelling them and rethinking about them. I am very happy with the whipped butters. I'm not as happy with the lip butters, but I do definitely prefer my Best Bath Store lip balms over these. But I just wanted to give a quick review and let you guys know what I think. If you want a further review, if you have any questions, comments, um, anything like that, please just leave me a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.